Welcome back to another Unturned video. In today's video, we're going to start off for the first time on an Excalation Vanilla server completely solo. This was my first time playing it, so in this video we're going to do, basically we're going to start off from absolutely nothing, building a base, doing some PvP, and at the end doing a online base raid. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos. In the last video I announced the name of the kill giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my discord over at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going to another one, which is an energized snake. If you want to win this mythical, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, or comment something below, and channel members have a higher chance of winning. You guys want to start your own Unturned Escalation server, either for your network or you just want to play with your friends? Look no further than Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting makes setting up your server quite easily, they have very high performance servers, and the interface is actually very user friendly as well. When I started hosting my own servers, I literally had no idea how to do anything, but with Pine Hosting's navigation, I learned the basics in a very, very short time. They have server locations scattered across all the continents, their pricing is very cheap as well. They also host a variety of games where you can buy Rust, Arc, and Minecraft servers. Another feature that that I am really a fan of is that you can install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you already have a server with another provider, they will help you move your servers as well. If you're ready to start your own unturned servers, don't miss the link in the description below and make sure to use the code LDG for a huge discount of 30% and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we are in Escalation. Now this server basically... It is full vanilla, it's my first time playing, I can't even put a melee in first or second slot, that's okay. But I got myself an axe, firefighter top, that's literally it. Now I have a little bit of idea what to do on this map, this video will be out on the first day of the map as well. There's a raccoon here, let's kill him, yeah, fabric and meat. Now in this video a lot of stuff will probably change in the future, this is the first playtest, meaning that the people playing here are literally just here for playtesting the map, learning it. Obviously there will be still everything, there will be PvP raiding. A lot of people are teaming up, but I'm just gonna go in this fully solo. It's a full moon, so I'm just gonna hopefully get as much loot as possible. I have no idea what's good or what's bad. We're gonna get ourselves as much fabric scrap as possible. Yeah, we can make ourselves. We can stack it into normal fabric, that's, that's pretty nice. Full moon is over too. Now I think we're gonna build over here next to Fort Martin. Um, I know that that is a military base. And obviously building next to a military base is probably a, a pretty good idea. And down here in this area, there's another military area in the construction area. Which in this map, you need a lot of construction items to progress. We need something called adhesive compounds, which are very, very important to get literally everything that you need. For a gas mask and all of that items, we're gonna need some of those. But yeah, in this series, I do want to basically just try to finish the map, try to get to dead zone end game, do some raids obviously. The server has been on for a few days, so there's probably already a few bases around. The reason why I didn't join instantly is just for that reason, so people have bases and I can raid. We got ourselves a pickaxe, we can salvage that as well. I'm just gonna pick up everything I find and salvage them. We got, we got ourselves some ammo. I think I'm gonna start building a base very soon, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of melees around. Oh, there's a flamer and a spitzer, bro. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably just run away and start chopping down trees and start building a base. Base building in this map is fairly easy. We don't really need any tools. Just gotta chop down trees, get logs, and that is basically it. Oh, there's a flamingo here, what? Hello? Oh, what? It attacks you? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't drop anything, but you know, a flamingo can kill you in this map. All right. All right, so we're gonna build in this area, very close to actually a lot of places. I'm still trying to figure out if this is actually a good location or not, but... Very soon after we build a base, I'm just gonna start exploring as much areas as possible. Yeah, on this map, we don't need pillars either, which I absolutely love. Got ourselves a bedroll too, let's place that right over there. Let's claim it. So by the looks of it, I think this map is gonna be more PvP rather than survival. Like the previous map that we had was Buak, that map was more PvE and survival. This map is completely the other way around. It's gonna be much more easier to build and to progress, I assume. And there's gonna be a lot of PvP happening. Map is not really that big either. You can get from one side to the other side very easily. It really only takes a few minutes. But yeah, I will be having a lot of videos on this map. I will be having as much guides as possible. I will also be making movies from these playtests. The first playtest, though, I'm gonna make it into a series. But the next playtest, there will be much more. I will be making solo movies. I will be learning the map. We got ourselves a doorway as well. Let's put that right over there. We're gonna build probably just a little base for now. I don't want to do anything that large. <laughs> All 
Alright, so I'm gonna loot Fort Martin and we're gonna see. Hopefully, we get ourselves some good loot. A gun would be great, actually. Also, really liking the animations. I'm gonna die, bro. Alright, so I did manage to loot uh, the military base uh, pretty well, actually. Got myself a backpack, some items. Got myself a gun, finally. So if we see people, we can not just get killed instantly. Got myself some stuff like a canteen. It's actually very useful by the looks of it to make gauze mask filters. So that's pretty nice to have. Got myself some clothes as well. We'll just salvage those very shortly. All right, so let's shoot these down. These will give you refined oil, which is actually good for base building. So I'll get myself a few of those. They are literally all around the map. It's pretty cool. But we're over at the island, a very small island. Over here, we can get just construction areas, but refined oil is used for base parts. We do need metal ingots, which is basically just stacked metal, but we still need uh, quite a more items. We need a blast forge, I'm pretty sure, to make ourselves heat, which we do need, and we need a lot of items for that. So we're gonna have to farm quite a bit. Oh wait, what? Bro, there's an LDG poster? Oh my god, I didn't even realize. I can pick the- wait, what? No, it glitched! Bro, where is it now? Okay, well, we can take those and we can actually place those in our base. Bro, that's so cool! I actually had no idea that was gonna happen, but it's glitched, man. Yeah, we can just do that and then we can pick it up, but... They're glitching through. Bro, I absolutely love that though. That's so cool, man. Man, I've been running around. I've been trying to figure out most of the stuff that we need. To make biohazard clothes, we're going to need firefighter clothes, actually. And a lot of adhesive compounds. A lot of stuff that we need to get from the dead zone. Especially the, uh, the circuits. There's a basement down here. There's a few more guns. A lot of pistols. Man, I got myself a pretty decent loot run from this. Got myself a lot of base decorations, a lot of loot. We didn't meet anyone yet. In this map, you can actually jump through glass and it'll just break by itself. Oh, there. We, we got the poster. Oh, I got the poster, bro. That's going in literally every single base that I build on this map. I absolutely love that. All right, we're back in base. Got myself... A nice carpet. We'll replace the bed because I couldn't put it down. I think next I'm just gonna work a bit on base upgrades. I suppose the poster. You put it right over there in the middle. There we go. If you guys ever build a base and put an LDG logo and I see it, I will be sure to give you a shout out. It'll look very cool. Okay, we're gonna make ourselves a bit more storage because my base is starting to get full. Got ourselves a lot of fabric too. This fabric is very important. Got ourselves a pretty nice poster as well. We could put that right over there. I really like these, man. They look so cool. They're all unturned references. Got ourselves another work lamp as well. Looks pretty good. We got ourselves glue, which is very important for adhesive compounds. But we need chemicals and tape. We do need a bit more for adhesive compounds. So I'm just gonna chop down trees and upgrade base a little bit. Because a one by one is just too small. Alright, so I did actually find myself an unraided base. It's very weird though. It's just a bunch of ramps. And there's a one by one that's unraided too. So we'll probably just come and raid it later on. It's mainly wood. It does have some reinforced though, but the but the roof is completely just normal wood. When I'm back at base, I should actually upgrade the, the base to reinforce. All we need is just a metal ingot per buildable. It's very easy to make it. Alright, so we're over at TKR. Got myself quite a ton of loot. What happens when you press that? Wait, what? Okay, now that is OP, actually. Yeah, this is pretty sure the only place you could do horse. That's such an OP tactic to do. It's incredible. Right, I remember that if I ever come to do a horde beacon in this wipe. Right, we're back in base from a pretty good run again. I think we're almost close to actually getting ourselves a gauss mask and a dead zone run. Kind of can't wait to figure out what loot is in there. Hopefully we won't die. That would be actually kind of terrible if we die. But I do know that the only place that we need a... Gauss Musk is the big one, the Artemis platform. The others, there are two unmarked dead zones, which we only need the Gauss Musk for that, basically. So just continue running around, try to get all of the loot for it, and we'll hopefully get its own. There's a pretty large base here. It's raided as well. Damn, people did raid early. It's completely destroyed. Yeah, I don't think there's any scraps for me to take, so I'll just keep moving on. <laughs> There's another large raided base here. I wonder who raided all of these bases. They're probably rich. Oh, there's actually a loot in here. And a few guns. Breaching camera. That's actually good. We need that. 
Breaching hammer is used to open certain rooms. There's a bunch of locked rooms. Yeah, there's a bunch more guns, refined oil. You have a raid that this didn't actually take everything. Another gun. If we, even if we don't use them, we'll just salvage them. Give us a lot of metal. Yeah, more gun parts. Alright, so over at the safe zone, I'm claiming as much quests as possible. Most of the quests, we just need to find stuff by the looks of it. Alright, well, we gotta get this dude, um... This dude has a quest as well. Yeah, he just wants some strawberries. He'll give us a blowtorch. I think we already have a blowtorch, to be honest. But if you don't have a blowtorch, can't find one, I think this is a good method to get it. Strawberries aren't that hard to find. You just gotta go to the farm. I won't really be focusing on quests, though. I just wanna check it out. And yeah, there's a child here. Alright, well, we gotta get him some... What we, he needs? Alright, no problem, man. I'll get you your, your car. There's a lot of quests, actually. I didn't think there was gonna be this much. But it's no problem at all. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. Bro, there's a there's an animation when you leave. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, let's get out of here. I think we get a random spawn, yeah. Alright, no problem. Alright, we'll just start walking back to base. I do have myself quite a ton of loot. Did a really good Lutron. I think I can already finish some quests due to me having items in my base already. Wait, I'm hearing steps, bro. Wait, there's somebody around, I'm 100%. Yeah, I think he's somewhere below me. Yeah, someone just ran into Gloss. Bro, I have no idea where he is, though. Oh, he's right down here. Yeah, he's clueless. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh my god, he's geared. Oh, he has a Gloss mask. Bro, he has so much load. Yeah, let's take all of this, bro. He's stacked. Oh, wait, what? Oh, they're a duo, man. Oh, they're not even in the same group. Learning around together. I could try to go back. Bro, there was so much loot, man. That gas mask would have been so huge. Wait, what? Bro, he's dying. He just died to zombies. Nah, there is no way. I could try to go back into town and hope that the other dude didn't actually come back and take everything, bro. That is hilarious. Oh, he's back there. I hear him shoot. You know what? What kind of loot do I have? I don't even know. You know, I'm actually gonna try to leave. I'll just take everything else. I think I got myself some good items. Yeah, I got bleach, I got chemical, that's nice. I could try to kill him, but I don't really want to risk, and I'll try to come back later. I'm probably gonna run back to base. Now we're back in base. I made myself some lockers too, they're very easy to make. But I got ourselves uh, quite a few items for us to salvage, make them into ingots, which I'll probably be using them to upgrade base very soon. Got duct tape as well, I think now I have everything to actually make a gauze mask. I should have everything. Got ourselves a 3D printer, so with that we can make plastic crates. Alright, so I should have everything, yep. Got ourselves a gas mask, absolutely beautiful. Alright boys, it is dead zone time. I'm really hoping I don't die. Got myself as much ammo as possible. Some meds. Alright, dead zone has started from here. Yeah, it's kind of too dark actually. I should have had night vision before I came in here, but now we're here, so screw it. Yeah, zombies are coming here, there's spitters too. It's gonna be quite annoying. Bro, there's so many- oh, I'm gonna die. I'm bleeding out. Bro, there's no way I'm gonna die. It's med up. Yeah, we're fine. Bro, I can barely see anything, man. This part is too dark. Right, any loot? Nothing too good, though. We right, got ourselves a few guns. Some junk. Come on, man, give me the good loot. Zombie here. What we really need are the uh, circuit boards, the red ones. Because we need those for biohazard clothing, and I'm pretty sure the only place to get them are from Dead Zone. So if we get those, I'll be very happy. Bro, these zombies are not dropping any loot either. Yeah, another gun there, lovely. Come on, man, give me the good loot. There's a zombie back here. Dead. Uh, pistol, legendary pistol. Another one. Yeah, we're getting a lot of guns by the looks of it from this run. Probably check out the second Dead Zone, because maybe that one is better, as I have no idea which is best. This area looks cool. Yeah, more pistols, bro. I'm getting so many pistols, man. We got a scar. That's pretty nice. Yeah, some more ammo. Oh, there's an EOD helmet. Some more vests. More clothes. I think we looted practically the whole area. There's another backpack there. Picking everything it up and the stuff we don't need, I'll just salvage them. We got chemicals. Yeah, we should get out of here soon. Another gun. You know what, for our first dead zone, I was kind of expecting for better loot, but at the same time, we did get ourselves some, some pretty good guns. We got a Tonjin. That gun is pretty good. It's a burst, but it gives quite high damage area of the dead zone. 
Now let's just run back to base. Hopefully nobody is camping me. Right, so we're back in base. So this LTLM is actually binoculars, but with it we can reload it with airstrikes. And that's actually like high tier raiding methods. So that's good that we got one. Alright, so we're back in the save zone. Gonna finish some of the quests that I have done. We need another quest. We gotta hunt a moose? Okay. I have no idea where you find the moose. We got ourselves a manual for it. It's pretty good. Another quest done. Okay, this guy just... Nice, he grew an afro. Huge. Alright, so since it is a full moon, I'm going to just... Stay in the military area. And the construction area. And we're just gonna farm as much metal as possible. So that I can actually start upgrading base to metal. Gonna get ourselves quite a ton already. Got ourselves quite good loot as well. Got ourselves a pickaxe though. But hopefully we won't die, basically. Or nobody tries to kill me when I'm farming here. I should have brought the breaching camera because there's a room here literally right behind me. And over there we can get ourselves some pretty good items. Alright, so we're back in base. I did actually upgrade a lot to metal. We still got ourselves a few wooden wall walls now, so we'll just keep them there for now. But having a full metal one by one is my goal right now. It takes a lot to raid. I think it takes like 94 to go through a full metal wall. So if we after that do honeycomb all around it, that would even be even better. Currently there is a bug though, because you require heat in order to upgrade to metal. And right now torches are giving heat, which was not the intention. So I'm just gonna use that bug and glitch or whatever it is. And I'm just gonna upgrade base. I don't really want to get raided offline, man. Taking all of the metal that I have... And we're just gonna start upgrading. Alright, so I'm done with the base upgrades. I used all of the metal that I had. And I'm just gonna go do a few more runs, man. It's literally all I've been doing, just running around. Trying to find cool stuff. Trying to find maybe a potential base raid. Also, I figured out that Marksman magazines do raid. They give very low damage, though. Also, I upgraded this one by one. Uh, and I made myself an airlock for it. I moved all of the good loot to the second room. Most of it, at least. Still gonna move some. Especially the Tonijin. Okay, so basically, there are two guys on the server that they need help with trading the owner of the map. He has a cave base with sentries and everything. And we're gonna try to team up and we're going to try to online raid him. Alright, so I made it. We're gonna team up for now so that we don't accidentally kill each other. The raiding methods that they have is, is a tank. And then they have like a bunch of mortars. I have no idea if they're good or not. I do have one C4 and I already gave it to him. Didn't have a Deto though, but hopefully it will be enough. I don't know what kind of material the base is built with. And apparently this cave position is actually quite OP. And yeah, they're gonna refuel uh, their tank as well. From this trade, all I really want is stuff to make adhesive compounds. That is literally it. Obviously if I get guns and all that kind of stuff, then that would be good. But if not, won't really be a problem. I just want to profit from the one C4. That's it. To make a C4, we just needed one adhesive compound. If we get back that in return, that would be huge. And so, we're here. Ah, uh, the tank couldn't even go here. We're just throwing mortars. I don't even know if these things are good. I don't really think they're doing that much damage. And yeah, they barely gave any. We gotta get the tank here. We gotta drive it all the way up and just probably drop it down. Yeah, they're throwing grenades, I think. That's what they are, mortars. Oh, yeah, so they did bring the tank, actually. May get stuck. Yep, it's gonna go forward and it's stuck. All right, yeah, it's fixed. There we go. Let's jump in the second seat. Let's go back backward and let's just... Let's hope it's enough, bro. Oh, it is enough. Perfect. Let's reload. We still have one more missile. I don't know if I should. I'm gonna shoot another one. Oh, there's sentries, yeah. Right, that's gonna be a bit of a pain because I don't think we have any more raiding gear. He threw a grenade at us, bro. He's back there. Let's med up. Okay, so there's a sentry right over there. He threw a mortar at us. Bro, it's just mortar PvP right now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I, I die through. Alright, so we got a few more tank shells. I don't even know where to shoot, man. The thing is, we gotta destroy the sentries somehow. But the sentries are all on the corners. Alright, well, we did a huge hole. I think that sentry is out, actually. Yeah, I think it's out. Bro, there's so many nodes in here, too. Yeah, that sentry is out. He's back there. Oh, he's dead. No! 
Bro, I need a gun. Wait, is he? Yeah, he's coming out. I right, hit him. He's pushing out. Oh, he's dead. I got him. Let's go. All right. Bro, we gotta, like, try to push in. Oh my god, there's so many mags, bro. Nitro, glycerin, so... I gotta try to destroy those sentries, man. The sentries are the only thing. Get ourselves a Hermes as well. Grenade launcher. Bro, he has full EOD. That's why. Oh, he refilled the sentry, so... We gotta try to bait it out and wait, get it to waste its ammo again. Yeah, he's still back there. What? My teammate's... Ah, oh, he's dead. He just rushed, bro. Bro, these sentries are so OP as well. I think that one is out again, though. But there's still another one that has an auto cannon. And that thing never runs out of ammo. Oh, he's pushing out. He's dead. Bro, there's still this sentry, man. We gotta try to either run for the generator. I'll probably die because I have barely no HP. Did he have any on him? No, he just had a shotgun, man. If I salvage the clothes, maybe I'll get... Yeah, I got a dressing. All we gotta do is turn off the generator and destroy the bed, and that's it. But with this sentry, it's impossible. <laughs> yeah, you can't break it with normal ammo. I could just try to do the run, but... Yeah, I'm dead. I think there was another one back... Oh, yeah, and he respawned, so... He's coming out. He's dead. Dude, there's a lot of loot here. I think this was actually most of my loot. I tried to throw a grenade just to destroy the beds, but... Yeah, that didn't really do anything. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Wait, I think... Oh, yeah, we're through. Oh, he's dead. Wait. Oh, there's a bed here. Oh, it wasn't even claimed. What? All right. There's a bunch of crates. Oh, we're done. Finally. Took us a while, man. Those sentries were too OP. Bro, my teammate died. I think he bled out or something. I'm gonna see what loot there is. There's a billion canteens. Hey, Alright, so I'm back in base uh, for the first run. There was a lot of loot, actually. Um, Got myself a bunch of nitro. Got myself another gauss musk, but nothing too crazy. Didn't really have any... Yeah, we got ourselves a bunch of stuff, man. I'm actually gonna go back because my teammate is still there. And there's still a lot of stuff by the looks of it. But I'm really happy with this raid. We finally did it. It took us a while. <laughs> if those were sentries were not there, though, it would have been much quicker. But, yeah, I'm just happy we finished it after all. But we did definitely profit from this. Alright, so we got a car, and he's gonna put a locker on it. And we're gonna move all of the loot into the locker. This locker has a lot of storage. But we basically got everything from the raid. And we're gonna drive it. He's gonna take some of the loot he needs. And whatever he doesn't want. Look, look at all these guns. We got a Hermes, too. It's a pretty good rocket launcher. We could load it up with a lot of different grenades. Kind of want to wonder what he put inside that locker, actually. Yeah, he had a few guns. All right, some clothes. Let's put all these guns in there. Some of these guns are good for quests, too. That's why I'm taking them. All right, back in base. Let's just take some of these guns. Got an industrial locker, too, from it. That's huge. And he's just gonna drive off. So at the very start of me joining, I did see myself a small raid. And I'm gonna try to raid it right now. The server is kind of empty, everybody left. And we're gonna see if we can get something good from this raid. So I chopped down myself trees so that I can make myself stairs so that we can actually go on the roof. Yeah, it's not even claimed. It's two by one and we're gonna raid work marksman magazines. Hopefully, it's enough because I don't know how much damage these even give. Uh, and we're through wardrobe and uh, okay yo that's actually really good these start bro that's so much electronics there's two lockers there's a claimed bad 3d printer and a few lockers we gotta we're gonna raid these two but i don't think i'm gonna have enough for this bro all of that ammo and those circuit boards are actually huge profit that's so much so much electronics yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough. I'll probably just go back to base and just get myself a C4. I think I still have a few marksman magazines lying around somewhere. So, uh, I should have enough to finish this raid, though. I don't know whose base this is. I kind of wonder whose it is. It could be Nelson's base, for all I know. Nelson is in this playtest. Alright, broke. And, um... Yeah, nothing that good. A few more circuit boards, though. I don't complain with that. So I did bring myself a few more mags. Maybe some little stuff glitched. Yeah, they, they did. Jackhammer. I mean, I'll take that. Let's throw a mortar shell. I don't think it's enough though. I don't think that really does anything, to be honest. Yeah, so we got a C4. It may be a waste, but that's the only raiding gear I have left. So let's just give it a try. 
Yeah, definitely broke. It definitely broke. Yep, broke literally everything, even the floor. Alright, so since there's no escape, I'm just going to get myself these stairs. Actually, I'm just gonna chop down myself some more trees. Get myself five logs, and it'll be enough. There's some load. Uh, okay, yo, that's actually a good gun. We got a, a fuse as well. Some filament spools and some clothes. Alright, yeah, I'm happy with that gun, actually. It's not a very easy gun to get. I'm pretty sure it's a dead zone only gun. Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go back to base. Got an apple, too, on the floor, but it's whatever. Yeah, there's some stuff on the floor as well. These high-tech fuses are nice, man. So with these high-tech fuses, we can make buyers with clothes on the sentry, basically. And a thermal charge. So not too bad, man. Not too bad. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of the video of the first playtest. After that, nothing really happened. This video did take me three days to actually record it. The first day was just the basics, the second day was the raid, and the third day was the final raid. And then I still continued looting around a little bit, trying to figure out most of the quests. But I'm not gonna put that in the video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoy. If you guys want to see more movies like this, next one is going to be absolutely insane. The second playtest, I build the base next to the dead zone. And that brings a lot of PvP, a lot of raiding. So I hope that you guys are excited for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!